this really put it into perspective. Pokemon VGC World Championship 2012. And there's Wolf Glick. Cheating. Now, these were the early days of competitive Pokemon, so one-off hack team of shiny legendaries, sure, why not? But then you just kind of follow Wolf Glick throughout the years, and it's non-stop, constant, provable, hacked Pokemon. There is nothing Wolf can say to defend these Pokemon he has used, except in mission of cheating. That is how confirmed hacked these Pokemon are. And just so we're all clear, I want to show everyone how it is this way. So if you end up enjoying the video, you gotta leave a like. If you care about legitimacy at all, integrity, if you're against lying, if you're against cheating, any of that, you need to leave a like on the video, need to share with your friends, and you need to comment your thoughts down below because Wolf Glick has manipulated his audience to a point that I can only call evil. It's a decade of habitual cheating in a children's game and then lying and defaming other people for years to keep on getting away with it. Stealing tens of thousands of dollars to over $100,000 in prize money from people following the rules? There's nothing else you can call that but evil. So let's go and break it down, starting with the obvious all the way back in 2012. We have shiny, legendary, perfect IV Pokemon in Generation 5. There was no hyper training, there was no way of modifying the IVs, and while doing research for this video, I actually learned something. Roaming Pokemon don't even get the synchronized 50% chance. And in Generation 5, Thunderous was a roaming Pokemon, so numbers are about to get silly. We got 32 to the power of 6, then multiply by 25 because that's going to be the nature roll, and then 8,192 for the shiny, bringing us to a big number. I wanted to double check just to be absolutely sure because it's 1 in 219 trillion. Alright, but people are still out there thinking Wolf Click's legitimate and never cheated. Don't know why people choose to be idiots and lie to themselves like that, but alright, and that doesn't even factor in the Terrakion, so Terrakion's gonna be the same thing, 32 to the power of 6, but I believe that you can actually get the 50% chance for the nature, so times 2, and then we're also gonna have the shiny odds of it, and okay, cool, we got 17 trillion. Well, that's just two of Wolf's six Pokemon, so what other Pokemon did he use? Really? And people defend this scumbag? And he had even more shiny competitive Pokemon before the Destiny Knot passed down five IVs. Sure. This is why VGC is dying and no one wants to play competitive Pokemon. They saw this a decade ago, went, oh, it's just shiny legendary team versus shiny legendary team, or everyone's using hacked Pokemon, because it's obvious and then they never saw it get any better, so there's no reason to invest into it. And we also have to acknowledge the opponent, Ray Rizzo. Ray Rizzo is such a cheater that it should be impossible to, for him to come back from it. Dream Ball, Age of Slash, in the sixth generation. But not only that, he used more hatch Pokemon that are impossible to obtain because he just hacked his team. The image above is from his Nationals match against Logan Castro Game 2, so if we go and check that out... Okay, because privating evidence is what innocent people do. Either way, the Dream Ball Age of Slash alone makes it impossible to say that Ray Rizzo is a legitimate player, but his entire team was hacked, and we have the breakdown here. Ludicolo cannot be caught in such a Pokeball, which is the Lure Ball. Upon further thought, Politoed is also illegal. It has the hidden ability Drizzle. Drizzle can only be passed down from mothers or fathers with a ditto. Apra Balls can only be passed down by females and only used in Generation 4, before hidden abilities were released. So Ray Rizzo's 2014 Nationals team was cheated to the bone, and there's also chat logs of him admitting to using Pokecheck back in the day, which is a hacking program. So... Obviously, he should get punished, right? Nope, he got hired by the Pokemon Company as a caster and then is like a special final boss guest for the Players' Cup Invitational. And then you wonder, it's like, well, all of these guys were friends back in the day. Cybertron, who works for the Pokemon Company, Wolf Glick and Ray Rizzo, who are hacking it off against each other in 2012, and then everyone just gets special treatment and gets away with cheating. Cool. 
But back to Wolfie, because even though it's been almost six years of his Dream Ball Raichu, people still struggle with the fact that it's hacked. So I guess we need to keep on clarifying this, because every time Wolf says he does not cheat Pokemon, he is lying. And let's go and prove that. So here's his Raichu coming out of a Dream Ball. That's going to be important later. And then later we get to see the moveset of this Raichu. By the way, this video is on Wolfie's channel. So there is factual, hard, indisputable evidence of Wolfie using cheated Pokemon on his channel right now. So he's also deleted videos in the past I've shown of him using hacked Pokemon. So we're going to see how long this one stays up. But uh, yeah, so Encore. Encore back in 2016 generation 6 was an egg move on the Raichu well that's where things get a little complicated because the only way of having a dream ball Pikachu is going to be from a generation 5 global link event the problem is the event was gender locked so you could only have a male dream ball Pikachu that's it that was the only way of getting a dream ball well this is where the egg moves comes in on the Encore because male and gender unknown Pokemon, including Ditto, have no impact on the type of ball inherited. So I've seen idiots for the last six years saying, well, he just gets the Dream Ball Pikachu, he breeds it with a Ditto, or he breeds it with a female Pikachu, then you get the Encore, and then the ball is going to pass down. No, Dream Ball will never pass from a male Pikachu into an offspring in Generation 6, because that's how the game is hard-coded. So this Pokemon cannot exist without hacking and there's wolf's face using it okay one time is happenstance two times is coincidence but three is a pattern of cheating and wolf had been so emboldened by cheating and getting away with it for his 2016 world championship and his long history of using hacked pokemon that it doesn't get more blatant than what happened with this raichu and people still deny the cheating Fine, you can make the just wrong argument that you believe if a Pokemon is hacked but has obtainable stats, it should be used in competitive. Them's ain't the rules. So Wolf Click broke the rules. That is fact. He then lied about breaking the rules and has habitually lied since then. And again, when we get to the pattern of using hacked Pokemon, you can't claim ignorance anymore, especially when you've been caught multiple times. You can't be like, oh, Verlissify lied, oh, Verlissify lied, oh, Verlissify lied, and then get caught every time and then go, well, how am I supposed to know, you know? I didn't get the Pokemon myself. It doesn't matter. It's even in the rules that even if the Pokemon are traded to you, you are now responsible for those Pokemon if they are hacked. You can't claim ignorance when it keeps on happening. So yeah, we got the Raichu. This was an event-only Raichu, which means you had to naturally roll the IVs. Now, after doing my recent video about how every non-Japanese Pokemon World Champion is a confirmed cheater, it has been brought to my attention that Wolf's Raichu that he used in 2016 had two guaranteed IVs. Now, it does change the numbers a bit, and that's why I wanted to clear up, but it does not change the numbers enough to change the fact that Wolf Glick used a hacked Raichu at 2016 Worlds, and then had a copy of this statistically improbable Pokemon, while also his friend Marcus having another copy of the same Pokemon with the same team, who then threw the semifinals match to Wolf to put him into the finals. It's all dirty, because Wolf is a very dirty person. So let's see how those numbers look. We got 32 to the power of four because of two guaranteed IVs and then 25. That's still one in 26 million on top of Wolf's dubious history of cheating. And it's also a very rare, very special event distribution where you had to participate in a tournament, get the code, use the code within a specific time window, and then soft reset your game every time you wanted to roll for the Pikachu. Still didn't happen. That's not even the craziest part. So now we get to the maker of PK Hex. Kurt is the god king of Pokemon hacking. He has the final say on a Pokemon's legitimacy, and he confirmed that the Moltres Wolf used for the Players Cup 2 was hacked. And I was suspicious of that Moltres because, again, this pattern of cheating and lying from Wolf Glick made me think, hmm, the habitual liar and cheater is now cheating and then lying about it. All right, well, Kurt came in, saved the day, confirmed it's an impossible Pokemon. And somehow, Wolf got away with it. 
He has brainwashed his audience so hard that they will deny the indisputable facts in front of them. And then it got spooky because we go back to a video I did in 2016. Again, he's calling me out, lying about me catching him cheating, turning his audience against me because he's ha he has them heavily manipulated, and then he just keeps on doing it. Habitual. This is a pattern of evil. It's nuts. But that wasn't that wasn't even enough. So even after the Players Cup 2, he he was for the uh, Invitational. We already talked about that because hackers galore for the uh, Players Cup Invitational. Wolf's team hacked. There are issues with the Groudon and Incineroar. Groudon was edited to have a zero IV in speed. So just a hacked, edited Pokemon which is explicitly against the rules, the use of external devices to modify or create Pokemon in a player's party is expressly forbidden. Regardless if that Pokemon belongs to the player, and then the Incineroar also has some very commonly hacked values, zero height, weight, hidden values, you know, common mistake when fabricating data, otherwise one in 139 billion. So we have hundreds of trillions, just straight up impossible, can only be hacked, uh, multiple tens of millions. Uh, the Moltres was also very, very low odds. And then, you know, 139 billion. I don't know why Wolfie even has a YouTube channel or is even playing competitive Pokemon when he should just be hitting the lottery every single day. And if the statistical odds of the Incineroar are unconvincing, there's also issue with the OT name. Trainer names should not have data at the end of the string, but the Incineroar does. Most likely from a modified distribution, this Pokemon is so hacked that even the maker of Pika Hex doesn't know how it's this hacked. And then the wolf's sheep come crawling in. I can't comprehend how someone can be this broken. Why did you pick a casual invitational and take your shots? I feel like when you invite exclusively world champions, you don't have a casual invitational. Like the one tournament that isn't high stakes. Well. Wolf also, or not Wolf, but Kurt also showed how the Players Cup did have hacked Pokemon. Wolf obviously brought a team that was never meant to be serious, because that makes cheating okay. Like, sure, expose cheating competitive, but pick a real tournament. He already did. You know, just demonstrating that he's clearly capable of hacking and likely does for other things, not a big deal. And that's... that's it right there. If you get caught with steroids in between events, you get banned. If you get VAC banned even playing casual matches in CSGO, you get professionally banned. Because it shows the intent to cheat. And again, we don't even need it for this quote-unquote casual thing, even though it was a major invitational tournament from the Pokemon company. But it's about the capability. If anything, this comment proves the hacking even more, because it shows the capability of cheating for Wolf Glick, and then his constant lying about it. And then also, as I showed recently, Wolf has a hacked Switch. And he was commissioning hacks for Pokemon games. And it looks like me kind of bringing attention to this did get him in trouble and he had to delete the tweet. So, again, more lying, more deception, more covering up of what's going on here. He he's doing wrong. He's showing admittance to doing wrong. And yet people still defend him and he still tries to lie his way out of it. Like... If you're a legitimate player, you should be nowhere in the realm of hacking Pokemon games like this, especially as a former world champion, and especially if you're trying to defame people over being caught with proven hacked Pokemon. It's... it's disgusting. But yeah, if anyone says Wolfie doesn't cheat, show them this video. It's undeniable proof.